This is Chef Quantip Tewakun, a leading celebrity chef from Thailand. Chef Tai Wakun's regal bearing says it all. She learned to cook Thai cuisine fit for kings when she was growing up at the Deva Vesum Palace in Bangkok. <laughs> Chef Tai Wakun once ran Bangkok's famous Deva restaurant and was also a judge on the first two seasons of MasterChef Thailand. But today, Chef Tai Wakun has another aim to pass on her deep culinary knowledge to these rapt young chefs. Even though people like Thai food, but a lot of Indians say that they need to fly to Thailand, you know, to have Thai food uh, or go to five star hotels who have, you know, good Thai chefs. But this is not so. Truly, you know, everyone can make it. So we wanted to show through some new dishes, you know, that uh, anyone who does home cooking, which is very popular in India, can do it. And today she's headed for the IICA, the International Institute of Culinary Arts in New Delhi, to take some eager young chefs along on a journey filled with lemongrass, snakehead fish and galangal. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, have a seat, please. Thank you, sir. Yeah. My name is Quantip Devakula. I'm a Thai chef. And uh, my mission today for this trip, actually, is to introduce Thai cuisine to you all. That means you guys have to stay a long day with me. All right? And learn how to cook Thai. So before we start cooking class, first thing, we have to go to the market to chop for some ingredients. So you guys, follow me. For any expat looking for the most authentic ingredients in Delhi, there's only one place to go, INA Market. From seafood to spices, from the perfect prawn to a succulent snakehead, you'll find it all here. But you still need a discerning eye to scoop up the best of the catch. We need fresh one and about the same size. When you choose, you choose the same size and you have to notice the head and the body. It has to stay steady. If it breaks, that means it's not fresh. Okay. okay. We try to choose the same size, so when we plating, it will be nice. So while you're packing, I check on the fish. All right, thank you. Now we come for the snakehead fish. See, this is a snakehead fish. How do we know that it's fresh? You have to open this. You see the color? What color is this? Yeah, it's red. But look at this one. How is it? It's not fresh because its color is not good. Good. So when you buy any seafood, any fish, uh, you have to check. But the flora that go into a fine dish are just as important as the fauna. And so, it's important to choose them wisely too. This is lemongrass. We're going to put in the spicy salad and also the dip, which uh, we eat with crispy fish, okay? This is hotter, but the seed is quite big. The smell, this one smell, smell better. And of course, no Asian meal is complete without the right condiments. We get some Thai ingredients. Enough shopping. It's time to get down to the chopping. We're going to start our first dish. Pla Gung. Pla means spicy salad with Thai herbs. So we start with the hardest one first. This is lemongrass. 
we need to put it in the water with lime. And we start. Okay, because we're gonna eat it fresh. If not, it's okay. And you put in the water. All right, you start. Okay, you put in a uh, lime water. It won't turn dark. The next one is a uh, shallot. Okay. The next one is galanga. It looks like a ginger. Ah, uh, it tastes different. It's different. The ginger is good for stomach. Galanga is good for stomach too, but the side effect is it will dry your throat if you put it a lot. What I need. Very tough, yeah. Yes. The next one is coffee lime leaf. This one is a uh, we use a lot in Thai dish. No, we don't need the stem, so we fold in half and you pull. The aroma is too strong. Yeah. Chef, what all other recipes we can use kaffir lime in? In all curry. Okay. No. Yeah. So is it the kaffir lime only which gives aroma to it? Yes, of course. Don't put it too much because it's going to make it bitter. Okay, Chef. Be careful. Yes, Chef. Which leaves are this now? This is mint leaf. The spearmint and peppermint is quite long. Is there this any is difference between two? The smell. All right. Yeah. And the last thing, I keep it for the last because it's spicy hot. It also have to be very fine. Yes. You try the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> now, we come to the hero of this dish. black line. You cut and you put this inside. This is what I need. What we do this way? Okay, sir. When we boil, it won't bend. You start. All right, sir. Now we're going to cook the shrimps. Put the water to boil and prepare a bowl of a ice water. Why? Because after we boil the shrimp, okay. we have to stop it from cooking. If it's overcooked, the shrimp meat will be too hard. We put it in uh, boiling water. Chef, for how long? For me, you count it 15 seconds. That. We're going to do the dressing. We're going to use fish sauce, palm sugar, and chili paste. The last thing is lime juice. Now we start uh, making the dressing. This is palm sugar. We have to slice it because it's hard. If you not slice it first, it will be difficult to dilute. So this time, I'm going to make like uh, eight. If you're going to make it anything in three flavors, like salty, sweet, and sour, you put them about the same amount first. OK, and eight of the lime juice. Is stirring. First of all, we put the chili paste in there. And then the dressing. And then you put in the bowl. Okay, you do. You toss them together. I need smell of mint. Is it good? Good. Thank you. Have a try. <laughs> See? And then you put shrimp in there. Mm -hmm. 
and then the last thing. Now, the final moment is plating. The defining moment of any meal, when a steaming hot special is placed on a beautiful plate en route to its final destination, a hungry belly. Great cooking is a feast for the eyes too. And for now, these young students will have to be content with an eyeful. There's a lot more learning to do before they can sit back and relax with this grade A Thai cuisine. Next dish, Tao Jiao Lun. Tao Jiao is fermented soybean. We start treating the soybean first. We have to wash it first because it's salty. Next, we need the mashed soybean. Okay, next. We put this in the pan that we're going to boil. Okay, now we put the coconut milk in there. Okay, you stir. Okay, how nice. Keep stirring because I don't want it to be lumpy. You see the color? The chicken is almost done. The first ingredient you put in is the lemongrass, finely sliced lemongrass. I will add a cup of lime leaf. And then, galanga. She said the shallots. We need a lot of shallots. So now we use a palm sugar. I need only a touch of tamarind juice. Why I said so? I just need the smell. So the last stage is, you put the three colors of chili in there. You turn the heat off, and it's done. So now we start plating. Even individual chilies are added slowly deliberately and precisely. Now, we eat with fresh vegetables. Chef Taiwa Kun has surgical precision and an artist temperament. So, it's done for the dip. The next dish we call pla chon fu. Pla chon means snake head fish. Fu is a fluffy fry. We have to steam it first. So when the water is boiling, we steam it for 45 minutes. I've already got the steam one and cooled out already. Okay. Sir. So what we're gonna do now? I need you guys to flake the fish meat, bone, no skin, like this. Cliff, uh, I have a question that uh, why we steam first when we are, uh, we are already frying it? Because if you don't steam it, you cannot flake it. When it's fresh, it cannot be flaked like this. After flaking, we will leave it in dry and cool place for about almost two hours until it's almost dry, all right? If you don't have much time, you can put it in the oven about 100 degrees Celsius okay. for about 45 minutes. And then we top with salt. 
you put the salt in and toss a bit okay. to make the saltiness go through the fish. We put the vegetable oil in the pan on medium-high heat. If it's not hot enough, the fish won't be fluffy. Nice. So now we do the plating for this dish. It's quite easy. Even the simplest dish can be a joy to prepare, plate, and then promptly consume. That's certainly how it's going to be with this perfect plush on. And it's done. Three savory specials to one sweet surprise. It's time for Chef Tai Wang Kun to train these students in the art of preparing Kanam Ko, a delectable Thai dessert. We're gonna start with the shredded coconut first. That's what I need. Okay, you go ahead. Now we're gonna do the stuffing first. You put the palm sugar in the pan. Okay, you go ahead. So now, when it's getting shiny, you put the shredded coconut in there. Okay, sir. You stir until it's a bit dry. When you cool it down, it will be stickier. All right, now the sugar coated completely and it's quite dry. You pour it up here. So you set aside and cool it down. Now we're going to prepare the dumpling. We use two kinds of flour. One is the glutinous rice and regular rice flour. The normal one make it soft and this one make it sticky as its name. Glutinous rice. Yeah. Okay. All right. One, two, three. One of this. Just uh, mix them together to be as one. When the thing is done, okay, who's gonna need? I'll do it, sir. Okay, come on this way. This is coconut milk. All right. You see that when it's almost done, it's come out of your hand. After it's cold, you made it like a small ball like this. Okay? Yeah, sure. And the next is. This size I need. So you start with this first. Okay. Okay. And then cover with the flour. Okay, you fold. Do it. We need the topping, pan roast. White says to me. You see, it's getting brown. Yes, yes, yes. So, it's done. Now, 
our last procedure. We do the coconut milk. You see the smoke. I use three cups of coconut milk and half cup of sugar, white sugar. Now what we do is, once the sugar is already melt, we wait until it boils, and we're gonna put the dumpling in there. See, once it's done, you turn it off, and we are ready for plating. Alright, we are completely done with the Thai set today and I'm glad to be here with you all today and hope that uh, what I'm demonstrating to you will help you improve your Thai cooking. Thank you for attending the class. So now it's time for us to try our food. School's out for the day. These eager pupils finally get to savour their own wares. But the one lesson that will stay with them long after the taste of snakehead and coconut has faded is the attention to detail and the passion for authenticity that Chef Taiwa Kun brings to the table. Pun fully intended. Like you really enjoy it. Yeah, <laughs> of course.